हरिओम ओम सहना सह नौ भुन सह वीरकवाह तेजस्वी नवधी तमस्तु मिद्विषा वह ओ शाति शाति हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओ हरि ओम वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस ओला संस्कृत साहित्य रसास्वाद सीरीज एंड अ वेरी गुड न्यूज फॉर यू टुडे वी हैव कंप्लीटेड वन फुल इयर ऑफ Ola Open Learning for All Sanskrit Sahitya Rasaswada Last year 2022 I started the first lecture on the 14 gems of Sanskrit Sahitya uh, on 5th June so already 52 episodes are there the in the playlist I feel so blessed so privileged without any hindrance without a single sunday being missed we could complete the entire year with the help of you all and of course with the uh, with the support of the it and media team of chinmay international foundation god willing we will continue with this exercise as long as you want as long as i have the passion to talk about sanskrit sahitya so with this little i i thought this is a this is an occasion to celebrate in fact you know when i did the ola iks series in 2019 i started uh, 9th january 2019 19 we celebrated the 50th episode as well there we had celebrated 50th episode here somehow i missed the 50th episode so 52 are already uh, there in the playlist and today is the 53rd session so i really feel blessed Uh, and privilege to be here with you all so we are reading now malavika agnimitram kavi kulaguru kalidasas sanskrit uh, first ever sanskrit drama uh, last time i read the two verses quickly but i would like to revisit those two verses uh, third act verse 3 and 4 because in the verse 3 there is a chand there is a meter called mala bharani or aupachandasik vritt so this is something different and i didn't mention that last time so i think i would revisit that the third and the fourth the context is that the king along with vidushaka enters pramadavana okay in fact before entering pramadavana he says that you know he has already promised queen iravati that he will do the dola rohana with her Uh, to 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 celebrate the augmentation of vasanta ritu but he somehow wants to escape that because he says nisarga nipunaha striya stri the women folks are quite clever by nature they are they are clever by nature my heart is not with her iravati would easily find out that my heart is anya sankranta hridaya i am anya sankranta hridaya so you know that will be just a formality you know to be with her if my heart is not there and therefore i should evade that that appointment you know and i can give hundreds of other reasons khandana hetavah bahavo hi drishtah but it is not good to have pranaya with her purva abhyadikah more than what i wanted uh, to be with her you know i would be extra extra what careful to be very courteous with queen iravati and she can easily find it out that my heart is not with her and i am physically with her but my mind is with malavika and therefore i don't want to be with her now this particular chand in 33 uh, uh, is mala bharini or aupachandasik and this is uh, said to be ardha samavritta 
that means all the four padas in the verse are not having the same number of letters okay ardha uh, samavritta it is not samavritta so in the first pada and the third pada there are 11 letters and in the second and the fourth there are 12 so 11 12 11 12 and therefore it is called ardha samavritta and the first uh, pada will have sa sa ja and the two last letters guru and the even pada would have sa bha rama so this is the uh, the gana the gana vritta but not samavritta it is ardha samavritta okay and there is a nice kavya linga alankara in this verse he knows that uh, he is anya sankranta hridaya and he can't be his normal self he can't behave normally with uh, uh, Malavika, uh, with Iravati, even though he concedes to her request, you know, for Dola Rohana. But then Vidushaka reminds him, you know, you can't set away your Dakshinya all of a sudden, uh, just because your heart is somewhere. You can't just, you know, ignore and neglect the, your other queens. So, na Dakshinyam ekapade prishthataha karatum nama tyaktum na yogyam and therefore raja also thinks and says okay te nahi pramadavana margam adeshaya and they both enter pramadavana uh, because it is a vasanta ritu you know i was describing in the last lecture how in the kumara sambhava there is a beautiful description how you know the vasanta enters along with madana and the entire tapobhumi where shankara is practicing penance turns into smarabhumi turns into kama bhumi Beautiful description, I won't tell you here. When we read Kumara Sambhava, sometime, I don't know when, <laughs> maybe at least a few sargas, uh, first five sargas, then perhaps I will be able to tell you. But uh, those who are very curious to read, uh, can read the third sarga of Kumara Sambhava. So, Vidushaka says, you know, Vidushaka normally is a glutton. His interest is only in the food, okay? But he also can't digest from describing the beauty of uh, Vasanta. Vasantaha kila eta bhihi, pavana chalita bhi, pallavanguli bhihi, tvarayati eva utpreksha bhavantam etat pramadavanam pravisha iti. So the trees are shaking with light breeze and wind, you know, and the, 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 the bunches of leaves, they are like shaking, so as if they are calling you, come, come, come here in the Pramadavana, Pravisha Iti. Raja, Sparsha Shukham, Sparsha Sukham, Nata Itva. As if, you know, oh, he's, he, he enjoys that cool breeze and uh, it's all Abhinaya. It's uh, Natya Dharmi. Last time I was telling you about Natya Dharmi and Loka Dharmi. Of course, this is, this rests with the, with the character, the Nata, who plays the role of the king, that he has to be a fine actor and uh, he can uh, enact as if he is enjoying that light breeze and abhijataha khaluvasantaha abhijata very noble indeed is this spring season this madhava sakhe pashya the verse we saw the meaning we saw what i i i also mentioned that vasanta ritu is personified here but how beautifully you know uh, we always say that kalidasa is a nature poet. In his poetry, his scholarship gets wedded with nature, the natural phenomena around him, the ecology, the parisara around him. So well, so beautifully embedded it is. Just see, Vasanta is as if uh, personified as a best friend of the king. Now suppose my friend is in, uh, in agony, in pain, the other friend will come and pat on his shoulder, take his hand, you know, just caress him and talk to him in sweet words. Are you okay now? Are you feeling little better? You know, like that. So the Kokila Kujana in the Vasanta Rutu, there is Kokila Kujana. That Kokila Kujana is as if the sweet words of Vasanta Rutu asking him Saihatam Prichateva whether Manasija Rijaha 
saihatam the the pain caused by manasija that is madana is it bearable little bearable for you so that kokila kujana are the words of vasanta ritu and we also saw that there is malaya vataha as it is the dakshina vata or malaya vata malayanila coming from the southern uh, southern direction it always carries the fragrance of sandalwood with it and therefore it is always soothing caressing very reviving and refreshing and now this malaya vata this is as if you know uh, how how it is ange chuta prasava surabhi it is carrying the the surabhi the fragrance of the fresh mango blossoms vasanta ruto the fresh mango blossoms and sandra sparshaha sandra sparshaha this thing will be i think uh, uh, given you know in in the next few verses maybe uh, somewhere in the third act only there is a very beautiful verse that uh, when when you know the uh, how can you imagine yeah you can visualize uh, the buds before they bloom into flowers okay or a bunch of compound leaves before they open up the tender foliage they are all you know uh, in a in a in a side in in a kosha okay in a sheath slowly they open when they open there are the droplets of water inside it is called tushara or shikara or sikara sikara is the tushara okay the jalabindu now when the wind or uh, not even wind the breeze you can say the gentle breeze blows it it makes these buds open a little bit and while opening that the tusharas you know the the seekara the wind just blows that so when the wind goes ahead it it will be followed by the the moistness of the jalabindu in short the breeze which is surabhita because of mango blossom and which is sandra sparsha which is moist moist because of what because there are dew drops on the tips of the leaves also you must have seen on the tips of the leaves there are dew drops there are droplets and whatever is sandra is always cooling always soothing and whatever is surabhita is always reviving and refreshing so this malaya vataha which is chuta prasava surabhihi it is dakshinaha dakshinaha vataha ma malaya vataha and sandra sparshaha very moist very soothing so vasanta as if it's patting caressing Ag- uh, agnimitra with the hand in the form of malaya vata so the malaya vata is personified as the karatala and the kokila kujana is personified as the vachana as the sweet words a friend is asking are you okay now do you feel little better now saihatam prichhate eva so very beautiful and there is utpreksha alankara mandakranta vritta and um, you know and this all this vasanta is asking sanukrosham sadayam sa anukrosha sympathetically with sympathy okay sa anukrosha anukroshena sahitam yathasyat so very beautiful you know always why we say that kalidas is the greatest of the nature poets this is how nature nature becomes a part and parcel an integral part of all of his works be it drama or be it poetry okay so sandra sparshah karatalai karatalai vyaprito madhavena and this is uh, uh, like uh, anyokti ha huh, this is samasokti i said samasokti alankara and i briefly mentioned last time the time was getting over so samasokti sankshepena ukti because samasa basically is a sankshep of two or more words is it not samasa the compound is a sankshep so samasokti sankshepena ukti this is exactly opposite of anyokti anyokti is also a figure of speech samasokti is also a figure of speech so anyokti 
and samasokti they are uh, reversed to each other uh, in samasokti the vachyartha is pradhana and though it has vyangyartha also vachyartha is pradhana so what is the vachyartha here the kokila kojana asking him is it bearable and the malaya vata patting him caressing him that is the vachyartha but the vyangyartha is vasanta is acting as if a friend and vasanta is personified so that is there but vachyartha is mukhya and there is uh, utpreksha as well as we saw right there is utpreksha as well what is utpreksha what is the difference between utpreksha and upama do you know what is the difference between upama and utpreksha yeah some people know yeah so upama is you know like uh, when the simile or the comparison is in reality it is upama when it is imaginary it becomes utpreksha simple word huh? the comparison if it is in real it becomes upama simile and if it is imagined to be so as if it is so then it becomes utpreksha so normally utpreksha is kavi pravudhokti it is the pravudha ukti of kavi okay so, kavi imagines now kokila kujana being the words of vasanta is utprekshita it is kalpita it is not true it is not true because vasanta as a rutu is inanimate how can it speak right so this is utprekshita hai baat samajh mein so utpreksha and this samasokti so there are two alankaras where are whenever there is a mixture i briefly mentioned last time this also that this is a samsrushti alankara samsrushti and sankara now these are the two names of the alankaras again there is a difference and people you know why with each other and debate with each other whether it is sankara or samsrushti in wherever there is a mixture it could be a debatable point uh, one thing is like you know uh, this is something like the compound and mixture in chemistry compounds and mixtures in chemistry uh, whenever it's a mixture you can easily separate it right so when the two alankaras are separately relished appreciated identified it is called samsrushti and when they are mixed within each other so like integrally you know and there may be like angangi bhava shesha sheshi bhava one is the mukhya the other is subordinate so when there is the main and subordination some such relation it is called sankara so sankara and samsrushti uh, it is stated that sankara is like nirakshira roopa it is nirakshira nyaya they can't be separated very easily for that only a house is required for nirakshira viveka right nira and kshira if you mix water and milk you can't separate it right but that is sankara but samsrushti is tila tandula nyaya tila and tandula get mixed you can easily you know vivikta vivechana is possible so tila tandula nyaya and nirakshira nyaya so these are certain you know how nyayas occur not only in the vedanta or the shankara bhashya or other bhashyas but it occurs uh, nyayas occur in the common literature as well so very beautifully stated this one then vidushaka says pravish nirvruti labhaya ubhav pravishatah so they enter pramadavana this is at the gate of pramadavana they are welcomed by the kokila kujana and the malaya sparsha now they actually enter the garden the royal garden bhovayasya avadhanena tavad drishtim dehi etat khalu bhavantamiva vilobhayitu kama madhulakshmya yuvati vesha lajjayitrukam vasanta kusumane pathyam grihitam long sentence in the in the mouth of vidushaka the gist of that is that madhulakshmi madhulakshmi vasanta vaibhava vasanta shri madhu it chaitra masa madhu and madhava chaitra and vaishakha make the vasanta rutu okay two months each rutu so madhu madhava madhulakshmi is vasanta shrihi madhulakshmya 
Vasanta Kusumane Patyam Grihitam. This Madhulakshmi has adorned herself with the Nepatya, with the Vastras of Kusuma. What is the Vastra of this Lakshmi? Not the normal silk cloth or cotton cloth or all. This is Kusumane Patyam. And this Kusumane Patyam and this Madhulakshmi, it is a feminine Lakshmi. She is so beautiful. Why she has bedecked herself with all that, you know, colourful dresses? Bhavantam vilobhayitu kamaya madhulakshmiya. As if she wants to attract you, enchant you. And therefore, she has adorned herself. And that again is yuvati vesha lajjayitrukam nepatyam. That means Vasanta Lakshmi is so beautiful that she has... Uh, cast away the beautiful drapings of a charming lady. Yuvati Vesha Lajjayitrukam. Okay. So she is more beautiful, Vyatireka. She is more beautiful than any ordinary, not ordinary, any beautiful lady who adorns herself in uh, best of her clothes. Okay. And then Raja also says, then again a very beautiful uh, uh, verse about the Vasanta Lakshmi. Nanu uh, Vismayad Avalokayami. Raja also sees. Now, they, this is a diversion. Raja is so upset. He is always thinking of Malavika. He doesn't find solace. His body is emaciated. His mind is unrestful and all that. Now, this is something which gives him a diversion. And therefore, he wants to relish and appreciate that. Rakta Shoka Rucham Visheshita Guno Bimbadhara Laktakaha Shardula Vikridita Vritta Rakta Shoka Rucha Visheshita Guno Bimbadhara Laktakaha Pratyakhyata Visheshakam Kurabakam Shama Vada Tarunam Akranta Tilaka Kriyacha Tilakair Lagnadvire Fanjanai Savadneva Mukha Prasadhana Vidho Shreer Madhavi Yoshitam Madhavi Shrihi, Shrir Madhavi, Yoshitam Mukha Prasadhana Vidhav Savadnya Iva Utpreksha. As if this Vasanta Lakshmi is Sa Avadnya, is uh, what? Uh, humiliating, humiliating whom Yoshitam Mukha Prasadhana Vidhav. As far as the Mukha Prasadana Vidhi is concerned, decorating the face is concerned of beautiful girls and ladies, this Madhavi Lakshmi has adorned herself so beautifully that she has cast away in the background, she has thrown away the Mukha Prasadana Vidhi of beautiful ladies. Okay? So only Mukha Prasadana, not the entire body, only Mukha Prasadana Vidhi, okay? And therefore, whatever the three charanas, the above charana, they concentrate only on the Mukha Prasadana. What is that now? First is the lipstick. The most prominent in the face is the lipstick, the red lipstick. Normally red, now the green and yellow, what, I don't know, green, blue, black also, you know, they put normally nowadays. But this lipstick has to be red because the original color of the lips is red, pinkish red, right? So it has to be red. And that redness is given by alak, uh, bimbadhara, bimbadharoshti or bimboshti, bimbadharoshti, it is, it is the normal, you know, uh, what you can say, Visheshana for the ladies, for the beautiful girls, that their Oshtha and Adhara. Again, you know, in Sanskrit, we have the upper lip and lower lip, two different words. Oshtha is the upper lip and Adhara is the lower lip. Okay, we have two words for that. So, um, Oshtha and Adhara, they are as red, as pink, as Bimba Phala. And what is Bimba? What is Bimba Phala? Wo, in Marathi, we call it Tondla, Tondla, Tindora in Gujarati. Tinda. Tinda, Tinda. Tondla or Tindora in Gujarati, when it is too ripe, you cut it, it is reddish pink. That red color is not the Kunkuma red color, 
it is not the red color of the blood it is pinkish red rani color something <laughs> so something like that very beautiful so bimba dharoshti now what is the lipstick for the madhavi shrihi for the ladies it is bimba adhara like the bimba phala and it is alaktaka like the red lac red lac is normally applied to the feet but it is something of red color which is applied to the lips as well okay alaktaka is a red color okay so bimba dhara alaktaka visheshita guna this bimba dhara alaktaka this redness is surpassed visheshita guna in the quality by what rakta shok rucha by the color ruch ruch is the color varna by the color of rakta ashoka so the madhavi shri has uh, has what dyed her no has colored her lips with rakta ashoka okay rakta ashoka rucha visheshita guna so this rakta and rakta you know rakta smaravardhana it is called rakta varna is you know like uh, more attractive of obviously rakta varna is attractive and it is called to be smaravardhana it increases the kama the the feelings of love in a person so rakta shoka rucha visheshita guna bimbadhara laktaka so this is about the Uh, the lips okay the lips are surpassed i mean the the beauty of the the redness the beauty of the redness of the lips of the ladies see in so many words you have to explain in english in sanskrit you use a samasa visheshita guna bimba dhara laktaka ken rakta shokarucha three words samasa shabda the meaning is clear and if you want to translate it will be a paragraph the beauty of the redness uh, of the lips of the young ladies uh, caused by uh, alaktaka is surpassed by the col- the red color of the red ashoka flowers three four lines right pratyakhyat visheshakam kurabakam shamavadata runam and then the visheshaka Visheshaka is Lalata Krita Tilak. Visheshaka is called Lalata Krita Tilak. This is the uh, Medini, Kalpavruksha and uh, all these koshas I mean. Okay. So it is basically Kunkuma. Tilak. Tilak is done by Kunkuma. It is also called Chitraka. Visheshaka is also called Chitraka. When it is plain Kunkuma, it is you know like either kasturi tilakam lalata patale kasturi tilak kasturi or kumkuma saffron but when there is a decoration around that with black spots and all it is called visheshaka or chitraka like i have done here like black spot little black spot here sometimes i do it so this is lalata krita tilaka visheshaka so the the tilaka is done by the ladies with with this uh, uh, kumkuma plus the black dots now what is the tilaka of madhavi shri okay what is the tilaka of this uh, uh, vasanta shri it is kurabakam shama vadata runam it is in the form of kurabaka flower kurabaka in marathi marathi is not marathi marathi is korhanti it's a thorny bush thorny bush and uh, i haven't seen the red kurabaka but it is shonaha kurabakaha shonaha is rakta so shonaha kurabakaha it is said white i have seen i have seen the violet like this color you know violet color and the um, yeah shona shona is there i don't know shona i haven't seen but uh, uh, golden white and um, Uh, or uh, this uh, violet i have seen so kurabakam shama avadata arunam now here here shama is black that is dark that dark shama is anything which is green or yellow or uh, purple that can be called shama avadata is white avadata is white and aruna is rakta okay shona so three colors 
when the visheshaka is done with the tilaka kriya with beautiful spots or dots around the tilaka rangi berangi you know like the tilaka so shama avadata aruna and that too of kurabaka flower now just note you know kurabaka is not a very highly uh, praised flower in the sanskrit literature except for kalidasa kurabaka is a thorny bush which grows around the bushes uh, around the yeah you got that picture so it it uh, grows uh, near the fences and all you know it's a wild type of bush normally it's not you know like uh, like a mull like a, uh, like a jasmine it's it's not like jasmine it's not like uh, kamala it's not like sthala kamala which is rose which is not like it is not like shirisha which is very very delicate but still kalidasa has given its own due to the uh, to this flower and kurabaka is especially the pollen grains you know even if you hold the kurabaka in your hand your hands gets get dusty because of the pollen grains your hands your palms get dusty because of the pollen grains that is the quality okay whatever it has it just luta deta hai sabko baant deta hai so kurabaka the very very insignificant so to say flower has been so highly praised by kalidasa so pratyakhyat visheshakam the tilaka kriya has been surpassed by madhavi shri in the form of tri colored kurabaka flower okay three colored kurabaka flowers so that is another the lips then the tilaka and then akranta uh, pra, nee, this is not tilaka this is the visheshaka the the design made by uh, oh no i am sorry i i am telling you all about the tilaka kriya tilaka kriya comes in the third line visheshaka is something which is done on the gandasthala on the kapola i am so sorry i made a mistake visheshaka is uh, is done on the kapola uh, kapola or on the lalata kapola or lalata both okay so pratyakhyat visheshakam kurabakam shamavadatarunam and third is akranta tilaka kriya cha tilakaihi lagna dvire phanjanaihi so tilaka flower tilaka is til sesame sesame tila cha jhad if you have seen the flowers they are bending like low like this you know dark color flowers and if there are uh, the uh, the bees attached to that lagna dvire phanjanaihi lagna dvire phanjanaihi tilaka kriya akranta so the tilaka flowers to which the bees are also uh, attached with that the madhavi shri has surpassed the black line which is drawn in the tilaka okay so the tilaka kriya akranta by tilaka flowers visheshaka is surpassed by kurabaka three colored kurabaka flowers and the redness of the lips is surpassed by the rakta ashoka in this way mukha prasadana vidhau as far as the mukha prasadana is concerned madhavi shri hi yoshitam savadnya iv as if madhavi shri has surpassed has uh, varnal beauty has thus you know is treating with contempt humiliating you know apmanit kar rahi hai yuvatiyon ko right so shrir madhavi yoshitam savadnya iv so this is utpreksha alankara here ubhau udyana shobham nirvarna yatah both are seeing the udyana shobha tatah pravishati paryutsuka malavika i think in the very first lecture i had told you about this malavika agni mitram that there occurs a trifocal scene in the third act of malavika agni mitram this is very very uh, unique in the history of uh, theater as such three different scenes three different uh, groups of people unaware of each other and the spectators can three can see three different people 
you know, talking to them or talking between them. And then one or two groups, they come together. Then all the three groups come together at one time. Okay. And then the trifocal scene ends. So this is something very great for uh, a stage director also, you know, to enact, uh, to, to stage such a drama is very, very challenging. So now here, uh, Vidushaka and King have already entered. So this is a group of two characters. Now there enters Malavika. Malavika is not aware that Agnimitra is there. Okay. Avidnyata hridayam bharataram abhilashanti atmanaha pitavat lajje. Malavika is already engaged to Agnimitra. So no harm for her. I mean it's so natural for a young girl to think of her fiancé and you know be absorbed in his thoughts and all. So avidnyata hridayam but she doesn't know what is in the heart of Agnimitra because Agnimitra never had an opportunity to speak to her in the dance performance he just saw her from a distance that's it they never exchange any words so she doesn't know what is there in the heart of Agnimitra avidnyata hridayam bhartaram abhilashanti atmanaha pilajje am I doing the right thing my aspiration my longing for Agnimitra is it proper is it justified so, aham lajje. Kutaha vibhavaha snigdhasya sakhi janasya imam rittantam akhyatum. I don't have that daring to share this even with my friend. Kutaha vibhavaha. Itna mera bhag kaha. Itne mere bhag kaha. That I can confide into my friend. Na jane aprati kara guru kaam vedanam kiyantam kalam madano maam neshyati iti. How far I don't know madana will make me suffer. Aprati kara guru kaam vedanam. This unbearable, very heavy pain. Kati chit padani gatva. She is immersed in her own thought. She is walking and she goes few steps. Truly, you know, this is the unmani avastha of a love-lorn girl, Kutranu Prasthit asks me, Oh, where am I going? She forgets what for she has come. She has come on some errand, some mission. But then, Kutranu Prasthit asks me, Vichintya, Aam, Sandhisht asks me, Devya. Yes, I have been instructed by Devi Dharini, Gautama Chapalat, Dola Paribhrashtayaha, Sarujau Me Charano. Gautama did some prank, played some prank and therefore I fell from Adola and therefore I got my feet injured. Therefore, Tvam Tavad Gatva, this is Dharini speaking to Malavika, Tvam Tavad Gatva, Tapaniya Ashokasya Dohadam Nirvartaya. So you please go and fulfill the longing of the Tapaniya Ashoka, the golden Ashoka in the royal garden in the Pramadavana. Yadi Aso, if aso, that tree, ashoka, pancharatra bhyantare kusumam darshayati. If it puts forth blossoms within five nights, tataha aham, then I antara nishvasya. And what Dharini has promised, Malavika doesn't believe in it. She doesn't want to, though in her heart she wants to, but apparently she is very apprehensive of it. Antara nishvasya tataha aham abhilasha pura yitrukam prasadam dasyami iti. I will give you that reward, that prasada, which will fulfill abhilasha, your longing. Now Dharini knows what is the longing of Malavika. Okay? And that's why she has kept Malavika away from the sight of Agnimitra. But she is magnanimous enough to promise that if pancharatra abhyantare, if within five nights the Ashoka blossoms, she will fulfill her desire. But if it doesn't put forth blossom, then what? Then the queen will not fulfill my desire. If my desire doesn't get fulfilled, then what is the worth of my living? What should I continue life like this? Better I die. Yavat niyoga bhoomim prathamam gata bhavami. So let us, let me go to the niyoga bhoomi where the tapaniya ashoka is there. 
yavad anupadam and anupadam following would be mama charana alankara hastaya bakulavalikaya agantavyam paridevayishetavat visrabdham muhurtakam till she comes with mama charana alankara charana alankara the nupura see this is the thing where you know um, again kalidasa excels in excels and surpasses all his predecessors and all his successors also why he is ekameva advitī and kanishthika advitī yeah you know kanishthika you know that verse right you know that verse पुरा कवीना गणना प्रसंगे कनिष्ठिकाधिष्ठित कालिदास अद्यापि तत्तुल्य कवेर भावात अनामिका सार्थवती बभु वाई आफ्टर कालिदास देर इज नो पोएट ईदर ग्रेटर देन हिम और इवन इक्वल टू हिम दैट द क्रिटिक्स कुड काउंट यू नो फर्स्ट इज कालिदास हु इज सेकेंड हु इज सेकेंड देर इज नन एंड देर फॉर दिस सेकेंड फिंगर इज कॉल्ड द रिंग फिंगर एज अनामिका ओके so because he is a kameva dvitiya he has made the fullest use of the kavi samayas kavi samaya the kavi sanketa what are the kavi sanketa it is not only the uh, the, the the pregnant women have longing those who have garbha in their udara they long for certain things it is even the trees which long and until their longings get fulfilled they won't put forth blossoms what a beautiful idea you don't get this idea anywhere in the world literature it's only in the sanskrit literature and in that dohada even the trees having longing it is jagdish chandra bose who found out that the vanaspatis are you know living beings and he got nobel for that but much before that all our sanskrit authors they knew that even the vanaspatis they long for certain things and once their longing get fulfilled then only they put forth blossom the flowers and the fruits are effect of their fulfillment of their desires and what is the desire of ashoka ashoka desires a mild latta prahara by a beautiful girl beautiful woman with her left foot it is not a football to be kicked you have to remember it's not a hard kick of a football it's a gentle kick of a beautiful girl with her foot decorated with alaktaka and having that shinjini madura chin you know the tinkling nupura in her in her feet with that foot she has to gently kick the ashoka tree and then ashoka puts forth blossoms what a lovely idea what a beautiful idea and you know what there are there is a there is a verse for that i will give you that verse later but then see the very concept is so beautiful and because she is kicking that with the rakta alaktaka etc on her foot it puts for the rakta ashoka rakta flowers okay another beautiful longing is of bakula tree bakula tree sidhu gandusha sevanat it is said that sidhu gandusha sevanat the the madalasa she would have a, a small drink of wine okay and that wine she will spill at the root of the bakula tree it's all to be done by beautiful ladies okay by default <laughs> so sidhu gandusha sevanat she has to spill that manje chul surechi chul tya bakula cha mulashi bharaychi tini so that she has to spill at the roots of the bakula tree and then the bakula puts forth blossoms if you have seen bakula flowers there are very many bakula flowers in bakula trees in our haven't you seen on the annakshetra ramp so many trees two trees both sides annakshetra there is a sada padlela asto bakula pushpancha you know on my way yeah and there is one near ayappa temple near saraswati sabha so many four bakula trees i have identified so these bakula trees because they blossom 
as an after effect of sudha or sura the color of the bakula and the fragrance of the bakula madak sugandha the fragrance is little like stringent not not the sweet smell like jasmine or uh, rose it's little bit you know ugra ugra surabhi uh, because it it has to resemble sura as is the karana karyena tathaiva bhavyam yatha karanam tathaiva karyena bhavitavyam satyam ataha so that the smell and the color the the golden color golden yellowish brownish color of bakula flowers it all resembles sura sidu gandusha sevana so now this bakula uh, this ashoka has not put uh, put forth blossom and therefore dharini wanted to fulfill the dohada as a chief queen it is her right to do that it is her favorite tree so she has to take care like in uh, kalidasa says in kumara sambhava amum pushya puratah devadarum putri krutau sau rishabhadvajena the devadara vriksha is treated as a putra by rishabhadvaja shiva similarly this tree has been you know tended by dharini as her own child in meghaduta you have uh, this ashoka and uh, this one bakula again uh, tended and nourished by yakshapatni as her own children so this this feeling like you know of of our own child that is there and uh, she wanted to uh, fulfill the dohada but this vidushaka is a very naughty per- naughty person he played a trick because he has you know the full scenario in front of him what does the queen want how she would proceed what is the next step it is more than a buddhi bala what is the move of the next person you guess it and do it accordingly you know counteract in uh, nip it in the bud something like that so he made her fall from the dola so she can't kick it now she won't do it uh, 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 get it done by her co wife iravati never savati matsara she can't get it done by her co wife iravati she would better assign it to her own people malavika is her own maid servant she is beautiful it has to be done by beautiful women and therefore she has assigned malavika on this task okay and therefore malavika has come to this otherwise this is not the place for her just to while away and you know do some time pass in the pramadavana she is not supposed to do all that so but no bakulavalika will bring the queen's nupura the queen's nupura that will be worn by malavika for that particular 5 minute ritual right so yavat anupadam mama charana alankara hastaya bakula valikaya agantavyam tavad muhurtam bisrabdham paridevayishe muhurtam for a while bisrabdham alone without getting disturbed by anybody paridevayishe let me lament on my ill fate i am longing for agnimitra i don't know his heart avidnyatardayam bhartaram and therefore my own kamana aham lajje i can't even speak it aloud because shalinata kulinata she is a princess she is not a maid servant basically vidushaka from wherever they are standing he notices he just he he he, he laughs iyam khalu shidhupana udvejitasya matchandika upanata here comes matchandika that is the sharkara sweet sharkara it is like khadi sakhar marathi madhe khadi sakhar khand ya mishri bolte he hindi me khand ya mishri khand gujarati ma bole che right gujarati ma ke che so khand ya mishri or khadi sakhar so matchandika upanata for whom sidhu pan udvejitasya one who is afflicted by sidhu pan by sura pan sidhu is sura why because you know uh, it has been interestingly derived from the root etymology nirukta sidhu is interestingly derived from uh, root shi shete what is what is the connection of uh, sidhu pan and shete one who drinks lies down 
wherever he finds place he just lies down on the uh, corner of the road in the gutter or here or there so shidhupana sherate iti you know one who shete one who makes the people lie down you know that is shidhu so one who is intoxicated shidhupana udvejita so it is said that matsyandika or this sharkara helps minimize or bring down that mother the effect of mother it is said that even bhang jo shivratri mein peete hai for that also they eat mithai with the bhang right mithai khate hai uske sath aisa suna hai iti shruyate okay na anubhuyate so yavad iyam khalu shidhu pano udvejitasya so here is a king who is udvejita okay who is afflicted and here comes his sharkara matsyandika now what is why matsyandika matsyandika sharkara visheshah khandasitah okay and there is a verse for that valukey valukey bhrisham sukshma the granules are as fine as sand valuka iv bhrisham sukshma susnigdha sit pingala yellowish white in color not pure white like the refined sugar which we get the crystals okay susnigdha sit pingala matsyanda kriti sadrushya yogat because it looks like the eggs of fish matsyandika sadruk matsyanda kriti sadrushya yogat matsyandika smrta so that is the definition of that and uh, in the bhava prakashani ghantu which is a work on ayurveda uh, this is uh, this is given as a medicine and it says matsyandi bhedini bhedini balya she gives bala pitta anila apaha she removes the dosha of pitta and vayu pitta prakopa and vayu vata prakopa she can she means that khandi uh, matsyandika can remove madhura bruhani vrishya rakta dosha paha smrta and she remove i mean matsyandika the sharkara can remove the rakta dosha as well pitta dosha vata dosha she is uh, this matsyandi is madhura bruhani that is nourishing vrishya balya etc etc मदम मधुर रसम स्यंदते इति मत्स्यंडिका इति तस्य शब्दस्य निरुक्तिः मधुरम मदम नाम मधुर रसम स्यंदते व्हिच ओजेस द स्वीट लिक्विड इफ यू कीप मिश्री एज इट इज इट विल स्टार्ट मेल्टिंग एंड दैट मेल्टेड दैट द्रव इज मधुर नेचुरली सो मदम नाम मधुर रसम स्यंदते इति मत्स्यंडिका सो टू टाइप्स ऑफ इटिमोलॉजीज आई मीन बिकॉज इट लुक्स लाइक द एग्ज ऑफ फिश देर फर इट इज कॉल्ड मत्स्यंडिका और इट ऊज इज द मधुर रस देर फर इट इज कॉल्ड मत्स्यंडिका ओके इयम खलु मत्स्यंडिका उपनता राजा इज अन अवेर ही इज यू नो इन ग्रॉस्ड इन Uh, enjoying the madhavi shrihi now madhavi shrihi uh, i wanted to tell you something about madhava uh, last time i think last sunday i gave you some 22 meanings of the word saranga right how it is a homonym and it has different different meanings similarly madhava also can mean different different things you know madhava here we took shrir madhavi yoshitam as vasanta rutu madhava is rama madhava vishnu rama madhava is vishnu or radha madhava it is krishna so there are various meaning i mean accordingly the nirukti also differs it is basically madhu masasya idam iti madhavam that which belongs to madhu is madhava it's a taddita is it not with anpratyaya it is a taddita then um, it is also called the madhuka vriksha mahua mahua mohacha jhad madhuka vriksha and if you split madhava as not madhu plus an this is taddita madhu plus an becomes madhava you can split it as ma and dava ma 
ಅಂಧವ್ವ ಮಾ ನಾಮ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ಮಾ ಈಸ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ಮಾ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಮೂಲ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ತಸ್ಯಾಧವ ಸೌಭಾಗ್ಯ ಪತಿ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಈಶಿತ ಇತಿ ಮಾಧವ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಆರ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾಪತಿ ಸೊ ಮಾಧವ ಕುಡಿಬಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾಪತಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮಾಧವ ಕುಡಿಬಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಓಕೆ ಮಾಧವ ಕುಡಿಬಿ ಮಾಯಾಪತಿ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ವೇಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಪ್ರೀಟ್ ಮಾ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ತಸ್ಯಾಹ ಧವ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಧವ ಇಸ್ ಸೌಭಾಗ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಿಧವ ವಿ ಸೇ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿಧವ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ವಿಡೋ ವಿಗತ ಧವ ಎಸ್ ಸ ವಿಧವ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಲುಕ್ ಆಟ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಐ ಕಿಮೇತದ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂರಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಸ್ಟ್ ಏಷಾ ಖಲು ನ ಅತಿ ಪರ್ಯಾಪ್ತವೇಷ ಪರ್ಯುತ್ಸುಕ ಇವ ಏಕಾಕಿನಿ ಮಾಲವಿಕ ಅದೂರೆ ವರ್ತದೆ ವೆರಿ ನಿಯರ್ ಅದೂರೆ ನಾಟ್ ಕ್ವೈಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅದೂರೆ ವರ್ತದೆ ಮಾಲವಿಕ ಅದೂರೆ ವರ್ತದೆ ಏಕಾಕಿನಿ ಆಲ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಪರ್ಯುತ್ಸುಕ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಉತ್ಕಂಠಿತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫರ್ ಶಿ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಶಿ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹರ್ ಓನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಶಿ ಈಸ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನ ಅತಿ ಪರ್ಯಾಪ್ತವೇಷ ನಾಟ್ ಡ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎನಿ ಒಕೇಜನ್ ಆಟ್ ಸಚ್ ನ ಅತಿ ಪರ್ಯಾಪ್ತವೇಷ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನ ಅತಿ ಪರಿಷ್ಕೃತವೇಷ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಪಾಠಭೇದ ಫಾರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ನ ಅತಿ ಪರಿಷ್ಕೃತವೇಷ ಪರಿಷ್ಕೃತ ಈಸ್ ಲಿಟರಲಿ ವಾಶ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಶೈನಿಂಗ್ ಉಜ್ವಲ ನ ಅತಿ ಉಜ್ವಲವೇಷ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅರ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಕ್ಲೋತ್ಸ್ ಶಿ ಈಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಅರ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಕ್ಲೋತ್ಸ್ ನ ಅತಿ ಪರ್ಯಾಪ್ತವೇಷ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಮೀನ್ ಶಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅಫ್ ಕ್ಲೋತ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಅರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಹಾಂ ನಾಟ್ ಹೆವಿಲಿ ಡೆಟ್ ಹೆವಿಲಿ ಡ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಹೆವಿಲಿ ಡ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಏಷಾ ಖಲು ನ ಅತಿ ಪರ್ಯಾಪ್ತವೇಷ ಪರ್ಯುತ್ಸುಕ ಇವ ಏಕಾಕಿನಿ ಶಿ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹರ್ ಓನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಹರ್ ಓನ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಮಾಲವಿಕ ಅದೂರೆ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಸಹರ್ಷಂ ಕಥಂ ಮಾಲವಿಕ ಓ ಹಿ ನೆವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಹರ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಥ ಕಿಂ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಮಾಲವಿಕ ಶಕ್ಯಮಿದಾನಿಂ ಜೀವಿತ ಅವಲಂಬಿತ ನಾವು ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಸ್ಟೈನ್ ಮೈ ಲೈಫ್ ಸೊ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಯು ನೋ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಸೊ ಡಿಜೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಹೌ ವಿಲ್ ಐ ಲಿವ್ ಯು ನೋ ಈ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿ ರೇಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ನೌ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಕಥಂ ದಿವಸ ಅನುಶೇಷಂ ಯಾಪಯಾಮಿ ಹೌ ವಿಲ್ ಐ ಸ್ಪೆಂಡ್ ದ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಡೈ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಡಿನ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ನೌ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ವಿದೂಷಕ ಸೇಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಾಲವಿಕ ಶಕ್ಯಮಿದಾನಿಂ ಜೀವಿತ ಅವಲಂಬಿತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ನೌ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸೈಸ್ ಟುಡೆ ಓಕೆ ಆರ್ ಯು ರೆಡಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸೈಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಬೈ ಕಾಲಿದಾಸ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನದರ್ ಅಸೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲಿದಾಸ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ ದ ಗಾಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಲವ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಲವ್ ಓಕೆ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ದ ಇಟಿಮಾಲಜೀಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಬೈ ಲವ್ ಮೈ ಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಇಟಿಮಾಲಜಿ ನಿರುಕ್ತ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಥರ್ಸ್ಡೇ ಬಿಕಾಸ್